Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions, and today I've got a special video for you guys. We're gonna be taking a look at Plex Earth 5D, the newest version of Plex Earth. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen or heard of it before since I've talked about it and posted on the blog, but it's an add-on for BricsCAD or AutoCAD that's going to allow you to insert and bring in up-to-date as well as legacy imagery from a variety of sources directly geo-referenced into your drawings. But before we jump into today's video, I wanted to bring attention to what makes today's video extra special, and that's that we are launching it in conjunction with tens of thousands of other creators around the world and the internet to bring awareness to hashtag TeamSeas or TeamSeas.org. Team Seas is the newest venture and challenge put forward by Mark Rober and Mr. Beast. If you haven't heard of them, I'll put some links down below. They're some of the largest creators on the platform, and they're working with all kinds of creators around the world to bring awareness to pollution and to support the cleaning of oceans, seas, and rivers around the world with their Team Seas movement. By watching today's video and supporting their organization, which I'll put a link to on the side as well as down below, they have put forth the challenge and are aiming to raise over $30 million to clean 30 million pounds of trash and pollution out of our waters and beaches around the world. If you know me or have followed me for some time, you'll know that I love the ocean and beaches. I make it a priority to travel and visit regularly, and I want them to be clean and accessible for future generations, my kids and their kids. So I know that I'll be donating to this cause and doing everything I can to bring awareness and support it. And I hope you guys will do the same. It's as easy as a dollar donation or whatever is comfortable for you. And again, those links are gonna be on the sidebar and down below. Every dollar donated is going to go towards removing a pound of trash and pollution from our waters. I've followed these guys for a long time and this movement is going to be huge. Uh, I really hope you guys will help support and I'm excited to move forward with this challenge. Now, let's jump into today's video where we're taking a look at Plex Earth 5 in action. I'm going to show you the timelines feature in particular, as well as a little bit of a look at how it works and how you can use it within AutoCAD. Let's jump right in. Cheers. All right, so as I mentioned, today we're taking a look at Plex Earth 5D, the newest offering from Plex Earth. It's an add-in for AutoCAD and BricsCAD that allows you to dynamically bring in aerial and satellite imagery into your drawings, geo-referencing them, as well as allowing you to bring in terrain or contours from Google Earth, as well as other sources. It's also gonna allow you to import and export and kind of go in back and forth to Google Earth with KML or KMZ files. Uh, today we're going to be focusing on a couple of my favorite features, which would be the uh, quick view or Google Earth view in your drawing, as well as the new time view or timeline feature. Now to begin here, one of your first steps is going to be setting the georeference or coordinate system for your drawing. Here you've got a couple options. Quick reference is going to allow you to reference between a known point in your drawing and a known point in the real world using coordinates. Uh, and then coordinate system, which I prefer, allows you to simply choose the coordinate system that you're working within. Uh, and assuming that your coordinates and drawing is already in those in that location, everything's going to work out really well here. So most of the time you can find out your coordinate system simply by going to Google Earth and checking down in the bottom right uh, as to where you are in the world. Uh, you can also use their little uh, dialog box here that's going to allow you to quickly and easily select a coordinate system based on where you're working in the world. I'm going to choose this drop down here and type C to find Canada and then British Columbia where I'm located. I know this property is in my uh, city so I know that the coordinate system for my particular project is UTM zone 10 north. So we're going to choose this WGS 84 
UTM zone 10. Again, you can use this map here to double check and find the coordinate system that your project is in simply by using the map on the right and making sure you're within the boundaries. Hitting select is going to set your coordinate system and then hitting OK is going to finalize that. So now we can simply bring an image in and that's going to get overlaid in our drawing along with our property. So to do that, we're going to choose the quick view. Uh, this is going to bring a Google map image quickly into our drawing. This is the simplest and easiest way to do it. So clicking quick view is going to allow us to choose whether we want to bring in our image by a rectangle or by an entire viewport. We're going to choose rectangle here for ease of use and to limit how much we bring in since we don't want to bloat our drawing or take too long. I'm just going to simply click a little bit outside of the area we're working here and select our box. It's going to load for a couple seconds here depending on your internet connection and then instantly bring a Google Earth image directly into your drawing that's geo-referenced and lines up with your property lines if they're referenced as well. So you can see here that these uh, fields and properties line up perfectly with my property lines. So from here, now that you've got your image in, in your drawing and lined up, you could simply add a few labels, some site features like buildings and roads, and then proceed to create a layout and set up your drawing as is. You can toggle your visibility by clicking the button up at the top here. You've also got the ability to import terrain if you'd like to add contours. Uh, to your area. You can do that as simply as clicking import terrain and then choosing your corners of the area that you'd like to bring contours in for. So you can see it's brought the terrain data in. From here you can then create contours from your terrain. We're going to select it here and you're going to let it either automatically but uh, create your contours by using the default intervals, which are one and five meters, and we're gonna just create them. You can also use the default for the layers, uh, which we're just gonna keep that for our example. And you can see here that you now have contours automatically generated within your drawing. These may be rough since they're pulling from likely a free Google Earth source, but in a pinch or for quick sitemaps and plans, this can be a great way to save time and effort when creating a general site plan for areas where you can't get or don't have survey or more accurate data. Now, one more feature that I wanted to touch on and mentioned earlier was the create timelines option. Now, I'm going to remove a few of these things. All right, so now we're going to use the timelines feature here or time views and this is where you can use the premium imagery available within Plex Earth from a variety of sources to create a timeline or time view of an area specific to your project. For our example we're going to keep this same similar area here and it's going to ask us once we've selected it which source of imagery we would like to use. Now you're going to get a ton of selection options here going from as recent as a few weeks to a few months ago. In our case, the end of June, which is about three months ago, all the way back to, in this case, 2015. Now this is gonna vary depending on sites and your location in the world, how often the imagery gets updated, but this is a super useful feature that can be a great value add for your projects as well as a huge benefit for projects that may be affected by natural disasters or you simply want to track a long-term project through its process. Perhaps a multi-year project where you've got imagery available that you don't have to go out and purchase or procure. It's simply available within the app for a varying fee based on the Plex Earth 5D pricing. Another nice feature is that the images mention if there is cloud cover, which will relate to how usable the imagery is in the case of each site. Uh, for our example, we're gonna choose the most recent data set, and then we're gonna go back and choose an older one as well, and I'll show you that you can flip between the two and compare very easily.
So you can see that only took a couple seconds and we've got an updated image here from April of this year. And you can see by hovering over the old one that the newer one here is quite a bit more accurate and detailed uh, of an image. This one is provided by Airbus. We can uh, click add another date here to simply bring in another year or option. So in our case, let's bring in one from a couple years ago. We'll choose April 2018. That one's three years older than the current image. Once it's been imported, we're going to be able to compare the two by simply hovering over or clicking between them. So you can see here in the timeline, we've got this one here. You can see here now clicking between the two, we can show the difference and you can see what a couple years makes. There's not a lot of new construction, but you're going to see different houses as well as uh, quality between the years. Now for a little bit more uh, adjustability, you can open up this Plex Earth uh, imagery manager here. You can choose between the images, you can change their draw orders or create a mosaic combining multiple drawings. You can also simply delete or remove layers or images as you'd like and as well as turning on and off visibility through the imagery manager here as well as the toggle visibility button up at the top. Now another great option or feature of having uh, this up-to-date imagery kind of goes back to the Team C's theme of today's video and I can see this being a huge benefit to uh, environmental teams working on projects like cleaning up the oceans or rivers, being able to monitor uh, natural disasters almost in a live sense since these images get updated pretty frequently. In this case I've got this drawing uh, centered on the Sataram River in Indonesia, uh, one of the world's most polluted rivers and one of the only water bodies where you can actually see the pollution and trash. You can see these white streaks here are actually layers of garbage covering the water where in some places you're unable to see the water below the garbage. Now turning on these images allow you to cycle through different years going back as far as 2013 which you can see is actually quite a bit less polluted than the more recent 2020 versions of this image and turning on an even newer image will show different uh, garbaged areas or polluted areas of this river. So environmental monitoring is just one of the many uses for these images and the Plex Earth tool in general. It can be used for anything that would benefit from imagery being directly imported and used in AutoCAD. And the images are available in the case of Google for free. And in the case of the timelines or time views, those images are gonna be able to be downloaded and printed using a credits system within Plex Earth, where you'll be able to purchase packs of five 500 credits at a time, allowing you to download and use a ton of images uh, for your projects. So once again, I want to thank Plex Earth for partnering on the giveaway of their licenses last week, as well as I want to remind everyone to support and check out teamseas.org. I'm going to put the link to that down below in the description. Uh, and it'll be on the side of the video over here. You're going to be able to donate to help remove trash and pollution from our oceans, rivers, and seas. And I think it's a great cause that we can all get behind. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.